What's up, guys? I'm Tommy, and I got Alex to my left. Um, today we're here with Dylan Wen, tennis player. He was all air, all Mercury area player last year, where he ran through the pack as a sophomore. Um, he went undefeated in the pack, um, doubles and singles, and it was the team's first time pack champs in Methacton tennis history. With that being said, welcome. Thank you. Uh, all right. Um, well, what are the team's expectations for this year going 7-0 and in the pack last year, not losing one match? Um, I think we'll try to achieve a similar goal this year and definitely we'll try to win the pack, like the tournament, I guess. Um, we've got a bunch of returning player varsity players since we only lost three seniors, and mm -hmm. the team looks pretty strong. Yeah, so you guys fell to Radner, Harrison, Upper Dublin. Those are all non-conference. I think you play Radner again. Uh, who out do you play? Who are the other non-conference opponents? Yeah, so we had a scrimmage against Radner yesterday, and the um, the following non-league matches are um, against North Penn, um, Penridge, Westchester East, and Dunningtown East. Um. Are they typically tough teams? Um, most of the time, um, the non-league matches are against like more Philly teams, mm -hmm. so they'll be a little more um, challenging than. Um, the normal pack opponents, but um, we um, we're gonna, we're gonna try to do our best and hopefully win a couple. Mm -hmm. um, you said only losing three seniors. That's that's not a lot at all. Um, having that chemistry, how have you guys been bonding over the off season, and how do you feel going into this year as a team? Yeah, so um, um, we spent a lot of time with each other in the off season, um, and we've got into practices. Starting from the new year, as we started like hitting at like kinetics or like together, so um, we expect to have a really good season together. Nice. Uh, all right. Uh, can you explain how the matches works? Uh, singles and doubles. Like how how do they split it? Do you do both singles and doubles? Uh, so I only I personally only do singles. Um, for the varsity roster, there are three singles and four doubles teams. Meaning there's three people in singles and eight people in doubles. Um, and each match is one point. So um, if you win four out of the seven matches, you will win the whole thing. Mm -hmm. But um, and seven to seven to zero and four to three, that's just counted as one win. Did you used to do doubles or and and you stop now? So um, uh, in in school tennis, I've been first singles all three years. So I've only been playing singles for like the school roster, but um. In like the pack champ pack tournaments, um, I I, I play doubles. Okay. To like t since it's like, um, like the best of the best in the pack. Okay. So switching from doubles to singles, is it like, is there a different strategy to that? You know, singles being only yourself, like playing with a teammate, is that hard? So doubles and singles are like relatively different, and, um, sometimes it can be difficult from singles players to to switch from doubles and singles. It's um, a bigger court, right? Just Not a little bit. Yeah. But um, I'd say doubles is more like you need to you, you, you need a lot of communication mm -hmm. and like um, chemistry and knowing when to like um, I guess like poach or like try to cut across the other side of the court and try to like hit a volley and finish the point. So your your doubles partner for Pax is Suresh. How has your chemistry improved with him? So um. Starting for freshman year, I didn't really know him that well, so it was kind of shaky. We were mm -hmm. both kind of like singles players, but we've grew, as we've um, grown to become closer friends, it's um, our chemistry has improved a lot, and um, I think I'm gonna play the I'm I, I'm gonna play the pack champ double championship with him this year again. A and do you see some uh, of the younger freshmen that maybe play doubles, and you see them playing as pretty much two singles as well? You see the not not as great chemistry. Um, I think it it's a little different in um in that um a lot of them start as doubles, so they're building up that chemistry really early. Okay. And um on the lower half of our team, like the third and fourth doubles, as well as like the J V players, I find we we we're finding that um their chemistry is like been their their chemistry with each other is actually like really good. Mm -hmm. And as we can teach them to play doubles, I think that they'll grow eventually grow to become really good doubles yeah. players. Um, we were looking at your stuff, being all Mercury player, um, being all pack first team, winning the pack, um, being some really good players last year. Are you planning on playing at the next level in college? So um, 
I don't plan on like rec- being directly recruited or like playing like D one to D three, but I plan to like continue playing tennis in high in college and probably like joining like club ten club club team. In Absolutely. College. Okay, so last year you won the packs in both singles and doubles. Uh, um, how tough was your decision to miss district for singles due to the PA Music Educators All State Mixed Choir as a pianist? So um, it wasn't really like a tough decision or not because um, I I wasn't really able to go because mm-hmm. of that. It just like it was a direct conflict. Um, so you committed to them, and therefore you you could not go to districts. Yeah, but you did go for doubles. So how how did that go? How was that experience? So I think it was a good experience overall. Um, we like we got, got past the first round, but unfortunately we lost to like the fourth seeded team in the second round, which was expected. But we put up a good fight. Where where'd you guys have to go for districts? So districts is held in like the Springfield YMCA, or somewhere like around there. It's indoor, right? Yeah. Hmm. And you know, last year having the year you guys did, being the first. Pack champs in tennis history at Methacton. Like, did you guys really take that in and like just see how awesome that is, or just after and next this year trying to do the same thing? Um, I think we'll try to do it this year. Last year was really an experience, just because we went seven zero, like on every match. So we kind of went like eighty four and zero (laughs) on every single match. Wow. So um, this year um, um, I guess that's the goal. Try to like replicate last year. Um, but we'll see what happens. So why do you think tennis uh, here at Methacton is talked about so little, though it's clearly, I would say, our best sport? So um, if I don't think tennis is, like, the most popular sport. And mm-hmm. normally it's an individual sport, but it's, like, becoming more of a team sport. And tennis isn't, like, like the biggest in our area. It's really big in, like, Philly there. But, yeah. Um. When going into practice, um, what's something you focus on every day um, just as the tennis players? Sorry. No, you're good. <laughs> you're good. Yeah. So going into practice every day, you got to have a good like good mindset about like what, do you, what I'm trying to work on today. Try to like do something new or like try to like um, – I always try to like fo- f- like find one thing that I can improve on and try to focus on that for, like, the whole practice. For sure. Um, do you model your game off of any of the big-time players, Olympics, or anything? So I try to, like, um, I guess I the most time, like, the most, like, the player I watch the most probably, like, Djokovic or, like, someone mm-hmm. like that. So it's, like, they're, like, the top of the top or, like, the number one yeah. like, throughout the whole world. Yep. Um, and then I try to, like, I used to model my game off of, like, a Rafa Nadal because mm-hmm. he's, like, um, he's really physically talented, and um, he like yeah. gets every ball and stuff like that. And and do you sure. think Carlos Alcaraz is the mm-hmm. next up? Do you think he's gonna take over? Um, I do. Djokovic still has a couple years on him, but mm-hmm. Alcaraz seems to be like the top, like the I guess newish top. Yeah. And was that the Wimbledon final last year? I think. Yeah, I think so. Which was, yeah. And then, but I don't think he'll be as dominant as like uh, Federer, Djokovic, or Nadal. Okay. Um, going in, this being your junior year here, do you have a favorite memory you can tell us? Um, it'd probably be, like, just winning packs last year just because I won singles, doubles, and, like, the overall tournament, I guess. So kind of, like, three times. Um, but overall, like, this season, like, overall three years, like, I guess two and a little bit of this year, it's been, like, just a good experience overall. So I have some. I have a quote from your coach. I, I want you to break this down. Uh, she said, "Quote: It's easy to break down in tennis when you mess up, get hard on yourself, and you can't pull yourself up." He and you got stronger mentally too. So only a sophomore. This was last year. So hopefully by senior year, he's very steady on that level and he's full uh, of growth physically. Uh, you know what? What do you have to uh, say to her on that mental side of the game? Yeah. So. Um, in in high school tennis, it's like between sets, um, coaches are allowed to like um talk with the players. Like no, that's normally mm-hmm. like not allowed. Um, so like during sets, I found that it's easier like, with a coach to like get back into a game, like get not as frustrated on myself, and like start 
having a positive mindset. And um, like as I've grown into, um, grown to develop to get a to have a better like mentality, especially when I'm playing. And I found that it's helped my game a lot. And and Coach Walker's done a great job with the the girls team as well. Then she comes in the spring to coach you guys. Um, how how have you thought that she has been over the three year or the two years? I guess. Um, like she's been really encouraging and showing up to like just our matches, mm-hmm. and she's just been a good help. Just like she, yeah, she's, she's helped your career. Now you play soccer too, right? Yeah. So being very different sports, soccer being. A lot of running, tennis being more hitting. I mean, obviously, there's some running in tennis, too. Um, one's I, hands, one's feet. Exactly. <laughs> one's hands, one's feet. Um, what do you like better out of – what's something you like about both, and then what do you kind of like better there? Um, I find that, like, just, like, they're very different sports. Um, I feel like I like tennis better just because um, I've played it for, I guess, I've played it more, like, really seriously mm-hmm. for longer but um i like how one is like a like i like how soccer is like a team sport and then tennis is an individual sport and that like in soccer i can like have my teammates like cheer me up or do something like that but in tennis like i have to pick myself up yeah. um i feel like i like that aspect in both of them and that i like having like a mix of the two um experiences so what have you guys and the rest of the team been doing this offseason? How has your tennis academy helped you? As, and I know that's huge in, in the game of tennis. So in the offseason, personally, I train at, like, HPTA, High Performance Tennis Association Academy. That's in, like, Balakinwood. Um, I train, like, two hours, two and a half hours every Sunday. Mm-hmm. As a team, we've started practices, like, every week or, like, every other week for a little bit um, from the new year. At mainly like kinetics or at um at like the high school like the t- high school tennis courts and I feel like that's helped our team like get in, like, get in shape and like, get like prepared for the season and, and finally there's some cracks you guys don't have great courts I know new school possibly coming uh, what is your pitch to get new courts um I'd say that the tennis team is doing really good mm-hmm. and we deserve new courts. <laughs> there you go. I love it. I love it. Um, you got anything no. else? I got nothing else. Great interview. Um, this was great. And just best of luck this year. And try to repeat what you did last year, and you'll be great. <laughs>